The prepare crate is a feature that made a huge impact on the way that I DJ once I wrap my head around how to use it. It can help you mix faster, help you have an overall more cohesive set, and help you have a less cluttered DJ library. Now, it's a feature that most DJ software has, but many DJs rarely use it or even know about it at all. So in this video, I'll break down what the prepare crate is and why you should be using it. Now, if you're interested in more tips and tricks videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel. But now, let's get into what the prepare crate is and three ways that can help you get the most out of using it. The prepare crate is a callback to days of carrying actual vinyl record crates. In those days, a DJ would search for the next record to play and they would pull it up halfway out of the crate as a way to mark them without making a mess. In the world of digital DJing, the prepare crate is a playlist with some special traits. Now you can think of the prepare crate as somewhat of a temporary crate. The music that you add to the prepare crate will be removed when you close your DJ software. Now another trait is that most DJ software have a keyboard shortcut or physical buttons on your DJ controller that'll allow you to quickly add songs to your prepare crate. Then finally, most DJ software will remove the song from the prepare crate when you load the song to the deck. So let me show you some examples of that. So first of all, here in Serato DJ, you have to click on this right here to open this middle panel to open up your prepare crate. Now I can go ahead and scroll through my playlists and instead of having to click and drag a song up to the playlist like that to add it, which I mean it doesn't take too long but when you're adding a lot of songs it does add up on time. You can actually just hit a keyboard shortcut really quickly. In the case of Serato DJ it's Command P or on Windows Control P and you can just quickly add a bunch of songs to the prepare crate just like that. Now another feature that it has is that once you load the song, say I load this to the left deck, notice that the song automatically disappears from the crate. That lets me know that the song's already been played and that I don't have to worry about wondering if I've played that song or not if it's in my prepare crate. And again, even if I have some songs loaded into the prepare, just like this. If I was to close Serato DJ and then reopen it, this prepare crate window would be completely empty. So again, you can really think of it as a temporary crate that's only going to be available and open as your DJ software is open. Now that you're more familiar with what the prepare crate is, let's go over three ways that I use a prepare crate that makes me a way more effective DJ. Now this first one is something that I like to call using the prepare crate as a quote unquote brain dump. Now in this case, say I was mixing these songs just like this and I was playing them. And as that song's playing, maybe I'm trying to think of what song to play next. Normally, if I didn't have a prepare crate, I could only pick one song at a time. Then I'd have to kind of think of what song I'm going to play next and then load that one. But using the prepare crate, even as the song's playing, I can just go ahead and save multiple options of possible songs I'd want to play next. And this is really handy, especially if you're playing for an open format crowd or a crowd that you're not too familiar with and you get to kind of be a little bit more creative with your mixing and you're not playing from a set playlist. Having a bunch of options instead of just loading one song at a time makes such a world of difference because say the song that you've loaded isn't going over too well with the crowd, you already have a couple more options here in the prepare that you can just load right away and switch out of right away instead of having to kind of scroll through your library and try to find another song to load. Every time that I start playing a song, I'll go ahead and find two or three more tracks and load them into my prepare just in case the song that I'm playing doesn't go over well, I have more options to switch to another track. And same thing, once I load that track and it works, I'll go ahead and scroll through my library again and add a couple more and just keep this continuous flow going. It just makes the process of finding the next track to play so much faster. Instead of going one by one, you're able to save multiple options. And another great reason for this is because you're saving multiple options, it helps you build a more cohesive DJ set because say they're you know liking, maybe in this case, they're really feeling K Tronada, you can save a bunch of K Tronada songs that you have in your library and have them all ready to go 
because you know they're liking that vibe or you can load in a couple more songs that fit that same kind of vibe into your prepare crate. So it, it just builds a more cohesive set because you know you're going in one direction instead of frantically looking for what next song to play. It gives you more time to just build out a, a set that you know that's going to work while another track is playing. And at the same time, say you're going in one direction and you know maybe the crowd's gotten tired of it or they're not really feeling the, the kind of music you're playing after a while, you can just go ahead and clear everything in your prepare crate and just pick some more songs while that song is playing and you're ready to go with another set of tracks that you can just start playing in and maybe it's a different kind of direction you want to go in and having all of those ready to go makes making that transition so much easier and so much smoother especially in a situation like that where you might be a little frantic because you know maybe you're losing the dance floor a little bit it makes getting out of those kind of situations so much easier and allows you to do it so much faster. Another way that I find using the prepare crate very useful is to avoid what I like to call single use playlist. Now if you're playing a lot of private events, maybe a wedding where the bride and groom have given you a playlist of songs that they'd like to hear during their reception, or maybe a private event where they give you a playlist of songs that they need to hear, or in the case of maybe a holiday party during Christmas time and you know, they have a whole bunch of songs, Christmas songs that they want to hear. Instead of having to create a playlist or crate in the case of Serato and have it saved here, you could just have these in your library and then just kind of grab a bunch of them and just have them up here. And now you have all these Christmas songs that you know you want to hear or maybe if it's a wedding, a bride and groom songs to play during the reception. And it just saves you from having to create a playlist that you're only going to use once and you can just go ahead and just burn through these songs just like that and again since it's in the prepare crate you know they've been played once they disappear it just makes for a great way to keep your playlist a little more tidy instead of having a bunch of like i said single use playlist a playlist of songs you're probably never going to you know use again in that kind of sequence instead of doing that you can just drop them into the prepare crate and once you're done with your gig there's nothing to delete out of your playlist folders or anything like that they're gone and you're good to go now the third way that I like using the prepare crate is in the case of highlighting what I like to call short or mini sets. So I'm an open format DJ and I play a range of different genres and just to keep my kind of sets a little bit more personalized and have a little bit more creativity, I have certain combinations of songs that I've come up with that I know work together. Maybe they work together with uh, similar melodies or wordplay or tone play, something like that. Instead of having to create more playlist with just three or three to five songs in them i can just go ahead and use the prepare crate to just go ahead and add them really quickly so for instance i'll play this song together with this song together with this song and instead of having to create a playlist with just these three songs because this is a really good combination that I know really works well, I can just throw these in the prepare instead of having to create a brand new playlist just for something like this. And I have a ton of these that I go through during the night. Now there are some DJs that like having these saved in a, a playlist folder and having them all laid out here. So if you like doing that, by all means go ahead and do that. But this is just another great option for people that don't like having tons and tons of playlists here that you know they could just use this prepare crate to just kind of load them in really quickly because they already know what kind of combination that they're going to use. Many DJs don't even know what the prepare crate is and it's such a powerful tool that it changed the way that I DJ. By using these three prepare crate techniques that I just went over you can not only have more cohesive DJ sets but you can also have a more organized DJ library. Now, if you haven't already started using this powerful feature that's found in most DJ software, you should give it a try and see if you find it as useful as I do. And now we hand it over to you guys. How do you pick the next song that you're gonna play when you're playing out live? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you're interested in more tips and tricks videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel. But now, get good, get out there, and make the moments.